Good morning, Patriots. Today is Wednesday, January 31st. And you are tuning into your Patriot Press News. Hello Heritage, I'm Mark Chavez. I'm Samantha Lopez. And here's this morning's announcements. Make-A-Wish will be having a coin drive this week. Each third period will, be, will have a blue or red cup. Whichever class collects the most money by Friday will have a donut party. Black Student Union meets on Wednesdays during both lunches. Come learn about Black History Month activities. If you are interested in participating in the District Poetry Slam, See Miss Cameron in room Washington 203 at lunch or after school Thursday, February 1st. This Friday is Mr. Heritage. Come out to the theater at 7 p.m. Friday night to see seven seniors compete and become the one and only Mr. Heritage. The audience will vote that night to crown the winner. Pre-sale is $8 or you can pay $10 at the door. It's Wednesday, you know what that means. What's up guys, me and Taylor back at it again for Wacky Wednesday and today, we're asking people who they think the NFL MVP is in honor of the Super Bowl. But little do they know, these aren't real players. They're rappers. We want to know who you think is going to be the MVP between these two people. Would it be either Stanley Burrell or Tremar Dillard? If you just had to pick one, who would you think? Tremar Dillard! All right, let's go. We are here with Ramon and Brandon. Okay, they are on the varsity football team, so they should answer this question very well. We are asking who you think is going to be the NFL MVPs of this year, and we're going to give you two choices. You can pick from Rakeem Myers or Stanley Kirk Burrell. Uh, Ricky Myers, probably. Um, yeah, I'll go with him, Ricky Myers. Ha! Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> the Super Bowl's coming up, and they're talking about who's going to be the MVP. So who do you think, out of these two options, is going to be the NFL MVP? You ready? Yeah. Calvin Brodus Jr. or Andre Young? Um, Andre Young. All right, Andre Young. Okay, Sarah, Maddie, and Haley, we're going to ask you your opinion on who you think the MVP of the NFL is going to be this year. Joaquin James Malfers or Tamar Dillard? Uh, Joaquin. Joaquin. We're here with Riley Stevenson, the man of the king, the king of the law. We're here at He needs some milk. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Wacky Wednesday. We'll see you next Wednesday with a brand new episode and maybe uh, learn your rappers. Thanks again, Chase and Taylor. Last weekend, the six HHS robotics team competed in their respective interleague tournaments. Saturday, out of 31 teams, Gear Garris finished in fourth place. Machine Kings and Twisted Metal placed 16th and 19th respectively. Sunday, out of 25 teams, Blood, Sweat, and Gears was ranked fourth, but went on to the tournament in finals. Titan placed seventh and Patriotic Robotics placed 17th. Based on the rankings and robot performance, Gear Gears and Blood, Sweat, and Gears will be advancing to the Los Angeles Regional Competition in Monrovia on February 24th. In addition to those two teams, Patriotic Robotics will also qualify for regionals after winning the Connect Award. The next goal, Super Regionals West in Spokane, Washington. Way to go, teams. Good luck to boys soccer and boys basketball. They have home, that have home games against Paris today. If you have some time, go check them out. For girls basketball and soccer, good luck on your away games against Paris. That's all for us today, Patriots. Have a great day.